Hi there, this is Phil with Phil Effects, and I've got another tutorial. This tutorial is uh, for my classes that I teach at Phoenix College. It's how we use Google Drive in class, uh, probably not of interest maybe to the general public, maybe an instructor that's going to use Google Drive with their class. But uh, anyway, I just wanted to give that uh, information in front. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. So I've got Safari open here. <clears throat> And you can see that I've got it open to uh, the top level of my Google Drive. And uh, when uh, you sign up uh, for Google Drive, if you don't already have an account, uh, the instructions will be in the handout for today. Uh, and uh, you will go directly right into the Phoenix College folder. Uh, I'm not going to go into that one right now for this tutorial. I've got an example folder. Uh, the contents of this example folder are exactly the same as what's in Phoenix College. Uh, it's just I want to keep the names of the students hidden. So let's go into the example folder. So I just double click on here and <clears throat> we can see that there are right now just two folders. There's a folder called uh, underscore general and I have this folder that uh, I made up for myself. This is just a sample folder. And uh, there are two types of folders that you will have permission as a student in my classes. Uh, there is the general folder. And in that folder, you have the ability to read but not to write. So you can read and uh, download anything that's in this folder. And then there is a personal folder. This is the one that will be your name. It will have a first initial underscore with your last name. And you, uh, the student, individual student, and myself as the instructor, we will both have read-write privileges. So this will be how you hand in homework for the class. So you will uh, drag and drop uh, your completed homework from the desktop of the computers at school and uh, drop that into your personal folder. Uh, that's how I'll get it, I'll grade it. And I'll return your graded homework back to your personal folder. This way it all stays uh, safe and secure and only you and I have read-write access to this folder. So let's real quick look in the general folder. And if we go in there, <clears throat> every week you will see a new folder that's added for the week. Uh, here's today's, uh, the first week folder. And so we've got the today's date on there. And if we go into that, I've got a couple of files already. These are PDFs and this is how you'll receive the assignments for the class you're in. Uh, this one labeled all classes is obviously for all classes and then we have if you're taking art 184 or art 284 I've got uh, the assignments already done for that and there's two more that I need to do for today to download these It's very simple. You just right click and you go here and you say download and you can download that file that particular file once it's downloaded Google will uh, scan it for viruses and it puts it in the download folder and if we uh, open up my download folder, we can see that's the file that I uh, downloaded right there. It's a PDF file. And if I double click it real quick, we can see that it's uh, the opening for uh, uh, Art 184 uh, class. So let me go ahead and I'll quit that. <clears throat> so that's basically how you will get your, uh, your handouts on a weekly basis. The last page a very handout for every week is the assignment that's going to be due for the following week. So if you go to the last page, there'll be an assignment there and that will be the homework uh, that you need to do for the following week. Uh, so let's uh, go back up to general here. If you're in art 184 or 284, we go into the After Effects folder. There are two uh, files. There's just a template file, but uh, the more important one is there's a zip folder and what this is, is this is the format when you work with After Effects that I want you to use. So let's go ahead and we'll download this. Double click and download. Goes into the download file. We'll go ahead and open that up. And we can see that that's a zip file. Let me drag this to my desktop. And if I double click on this, I get a folder. <clears throat> I can get rid of the zip or I'll just put it to the side here. I get a folder and the folder generically says my name, my assignment. And so what you'd want to do for on a weekly basis when you get a new, when you're going to start a new homework assignment, you either want to uh, copy this template, maybe put it on your flash drive, then you always have it. You don't have to download it. Or if you forgot to, you can just go ahead and download it again. Unzip it and uh, go ahead and rename that. So I'm going to just do 
P. Hoppus underscore say week one. And <clears throat> that's my week one folder for doing my homework. And if we double click on this, you'll see inside there's a template. This is the starting template I want you to use for working with After Effects. And then I have folders in here, subfolders. This is where you'd put any audio tracks, any movies that you include, any output renders that you do, and any still files. Uh, I'll explain this more in detail uh, on another tutorial, but uh, this is the folder structure I want to use for After Effects. So, uh, again, working with Google Drive. So uh, you finish class today and you need to hand in your homework. So you go into your personal folder, and this is what my personal folder looks like. And I could just drag and drop this and drop the folder in. Sometimes that works, sometimes that doesn't. Uh, I've had mixed results with some web browsers. The best way to actually really do this is go over here to this folder and right click. And on a Macintosh, you can just right click and say compress. So it's gonna compress this file, and now I have a zip file. And as opposed to being a folder with subfolders and subfiles, now I have just a single file. I can take and drag this and I can drop it. I can drop it right on top and it uploads it and there it is boom it uploaded it so i just handed in my homework and it's that simple and so you just drag and drop and you put it in and into your personal folder and i will look for your homework in your personal folder and grade it and you'll have something back for me usually it'll either be a uh, just a single screenshot with some comments on it or if you've got uh, a lot more comments or things that i wanted to comment more on i often do a uh, short powerpoint presentation that i made into a pdf <clears throat> so this is the personal folder this is the general folder uh, if you're working with maya and you're in the maya class the uh, again we haven't talked about maya but maya does the same kind of thing maya creates a structured folder that has lots of subfolders in it uh, your scene file which is what you actually create will be located inside this scene folder and same kind of thing if you want to do your homework and you hand it in let me uh, take this folder and i'll rename this to p hoppus underscore week one i'll just call this maya so it doesn't get confused and same kind of thing i want to compress this so i'll compress it now i have a zip file and i want to hand this in so i can take this zip file and I just drag it and drop it. Boom, I put that on there. And you know, I just handed in my Maya homework. All right, so you can see I've handed in two uh, zip files. That's my homework. Put it into the Google Drive. And uh, everything works fine. Uh, the last thing I do want to mention, uh, I put in a flash drive on my laptop here to do this tutorial. Uh, so this looks very similar to what uh, the students will use in school. And I see this so many times. Students will come in and they use the flash drive properly to take their homework home and bring it back into class. But then the first thing they do is they put the flash drive in and they start Maya or they'll start After Effects. And they're actually using the files that are on their flash drive as opposed to taking the file or folder and dragging it to their desktop. This ends up being a problem. Now, some of the computers at the school, they're actually fairly new and they have USB 3.0 ports on the back which are fairly fast but they've got a let's say they've got a very old flash drive that's not USB 3 it's USB 2 uh, which runs very very slow and they put their flash drive in the back of the PC and they start editing their program either with After Effects or Maya but they're reading and writing not to the computer here they're reading and writing to this flash drive this causes a problem because these end up being quite slow and uh, After Effects or Maya, the uh, programs themselves start to hang up because they're waiting for responses from the flash drive. And lo and behold, what usually happens is one or, uh, either After Effects will crash or Maya will crash. And uh, then the student loses all their work, uh, which is bad for everybody. Uh, you don't like losing your work. I don't like you having to lose your work. That's a terrible thing. I've had it happen and it's very frustrating. So what you want to do, you want to make it a habit you come into class, open up your flash drive, take your folder, drag it to the desktop, and work from the desktop. When you're done at the end of class, take what's on your desktop, zip it up or however you want to take it, and drag it back and put it on your flash drive. 
then eject your flash drive and take it out and go home and uh, just work that way. It's just going to be a lot better for you, a lot better for myself and uh, everyone around. All right. So hopefully this uh, will clarify things of how do you work with Google Drive and get your assignments. Welcome to class. Welcome to uh, spring 2017 and hope everybody has a good time in class. Thanks a lot. Bye.